I think um, we all know the problems that we as players have with our board over the years, not only now, but over the years. And, um, you know, president come, president go, the same old story. And you will find in this modern time, we will expect things to do get better, uh, not get worse. Um, and you will expect people who are in those positions to think with a more mature way of thinking, not an immature way of thinking. And I think Sami was, all of us are hurt, and more so him because the way how he has been treated as well, and how the players have been treated, and you know, at some point in time we have to say something. Now, two years ago when we were here in India, um, when we left the tour because of our, you know, dispute with our board and our players association and over contracts, the entire world, more so our board, felt that it was, you know, Paula and myself to blame because of we are the senior players and we encourage the guys and all these things, you know, and if it was other captains, these things would have never happened. And now, Sami, the captain for the T20 champion team, come out in his outburst as well, showing his disappointment, right? And, um, there is no bravo Paula there to actually say it was us who encouraged it. But it just goes to show that no matter who is the captain of our team, our cricket is not in a good state. And those who are in charge of it definitely they are not committed to make things better. They are they are they they preach that for the interest of West Indies cricket, but they don't do what is right for West Indies cricket. And Coming to this tournament, yeah, we had so much to prove to ourselves. We want us players to, to, to prove that we are the best again because a lot of people think that um, you know, they didn't give us any chance. I mean, they had picked four teams to, to win the World Cup, five teams, and no one mentioned West Indies. Uh, also, the board is just like, you know, it's, a, it's the board one way and the players one way. So, our motto for the, motto for the tournament was be against the world. You know, it's just 15, 20 of us here against the world. And we're going to prove to the world that we are the best, regardless of what. Um, you know, Sammy mentioned about uniform. You know, coming here to India, the uniform wasn't here on time and stuff. He is right, the uniform were here, but the manager now have to go to fly to Calcutta and get the names and numbers printed. I mean, how long do you know World Cup is coming? You know, you know the team is selected. You know the name of players. Yes, there's a few changes as well because of injuries and stuff. But you narrow down a squad to 20. You know, you don't go into a World Cup and pick 15 players. You know, you pick like 20 players. This is the reserve. This is the 15. This is the backups. And then you get your kick made for the players. You can't land in, in, in a country where the World Cup is five days away to start and then you have to now go and bring. Um, uniform and t-shirts and stuff, caps, you know, your cap up and arrive on time, so kid bags, the entire, you know, you see England or Australia traveling, you see, you see uniform, you see a team, you, see, you actually see a team traveling. When you see the West Indies team traveling, you ask yourself, what team is this in? You're not sure. So as players, if we talk about these things, they are oh, why are you guys looking at that? They complain too much. But it's things that at international level should, that should be automatic, you know, those simple things. And we just felt that the time is right where we voice our opinion, voice our disappointment, let the world understand how good we are as players, how we be treated. And um, we just want some changes. Uh, you know, the CARICOM has tried to intervene, and hopefully things can change by the success of the men and women team, even the under-19 team. I mean, despite our success as, as three World Cup winning teams, our cricket still not in a very good state. And um, you know, we can continue to brag and boast about those three titles. But for us personally, the men's team, <coughs> Our success have nothing to do with the board, nothing, you know. So it's just basically us. We are good in this. We are the best team in this format. We have the best players. So chances are we're gonna win. But our cricket need help.